Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy Thake and I'm here with Ina today. Thanks for joining me, Ina. Hi Jeremy, thank you for having me. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Microsoft Graph. So Ina, can you tell me a little bit about what is the Microsoft Graph? Absolutely, so Jeremy, Microsoft Graph, simply put, is a REST API that you can use to interact with data in Microsoft 365. Awesome, and so what kinds of data can you get at on Microsoft Graph? Well, Microsoft 365 is a suite of services that goes from Office 365, Enterprise Mobility and Security, and even the Windows 10 family of services. So all of the data sets that are exposed out of these different services are exposed through the API. Cool, and so what types of scenarios could people use that data with Microsoft Graph? So we usually see developers building a applications in kind of two camps. One is user interactive applications, where there is always a user present. And use, they, we have here examples like websites or native applications or even user trigger workflows. And uh, the functionality that they tend to interact with are things like their mail or their calendar or uh, their files that are stored in SharePoint and OneDrive. And the other set of applications that we see is around service or daemon applications, right? Like these are background processes that are trying to process information across, um, for example, the entire organization. Mm -hmm. An example here is uh, doing a scanning of mailboxes, making sure that there is uh, compliance and DLP compliance or uh, looking for patterns on the email, uh, on all of the emails across all of the different mailboxes in the organization. That's really neat. So how do you get started with a Microsoft Graph? Where would you send someone if they wanted to play with this API? Well, as a developer, uh, just go to your browser and type graph.microsoft.com. You will be immediately redirected to our uh, documentation portal. Here you will find not only all of the information about how to get started with the API, but also keeping up to speed with all of the events that we have for our community. So we have, for example, a, a monthly community call that developers can join uh, to learn more about what are the things that we are launching on a regular basis and also some of the use cases and some of the events that we also have in place on a regular basis. Here on our documentation portal, I'll point you to a few places. I'm gonna start first with the Graph Explorer. So Graph Explorer is a great tool to interact with the API. You will be able to see a lot of the uh, examples of the requests that we have uh, available as well as like links direct to the direct documentation. So for example, we have some getting started queries here, some of the things that are more popular. You can navigate and see the profile information. If you click here, you will be redirected uh, to the documentation that talks about how to interact with this particular resource. So Graph Explorer is a great place to get started uh, and talk about, to be able to see all of the things that are part of the API. One of the things that we have here in Graph Explorer is a set of samples. So I had OneDrive turned on. I'm gonna, like for example, if we wanted to see requests around mail or around uh, interacting with Excel, we can turn on and off those samples and uh, see those sample queries here on the Graph Explorer. So that way you can try some of the requests and get links directly to the documentation that will teach you more about that particular scenario. That's really neat. The next three is three minutes to get your app up and running. So in our getting started experiences, you will be able to pick uh, your preference, your language of preference. Let's say for example, you are an ASP.NET developer and here in an ASP.NET landing page, you will see that we have a quick start. In this quick start, uh, you will be able to get through getting your application up and running in less than three minutes. Mm -hmm. So if you have three minutes, it will go through the registration of that application and it will have us, uh, uh, your code running in Visual Studio in no time. And then after that, once you're ready to spend a little bit more time, we have a full tutorial that will walk you through each of steps of creating that application and even a video that will, walk, uh, that will guide you through that journey that you can complete in about 30 minutes. That's great. Yep. And finally, once you're ready to like put all, everything together in your own application, we have libraries that will help through that journey. That's awesome. Well, look, thanks for that. That's a great way of showing how to go get started with the Microsoft Graph. And so I encourage you guys go visit graph.microsoft.com and get started today.